What's going on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV coming to you from Louisville, Kentucky. So, we are right in front of the KFC Yum Center. Yes, Kentucky Fried Chicken is world famous and it started here in Louisville. So, just some quick facts about Louisville real quick before we get too much into this. A little Sicily there. That's cool. It is on the banks of the Ohio River. There is about 1.2 million people in the metro area, 690,000 in the city of Louisville, making it the 29th most populated city in the country. We are coming up onto Whiskey Row here, right next to KFC Young. All right, so we're on Washington Street here. It is a Tuesday afternoon at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, actually. You can tell this is where they have pubs. Now, one of the interesting things about Louisville is it is considered a foodie city. All right, we've made it to the banks of the Ohio River here on the waterfront. You've got a Joe's Crab Shack. You can see this big old bridge going across the Ohio. Such a big, expansive river. Yesterday I was in Cincinnati and I wasn't sure if the Ohio River actually pours in to the Mississippi and it does indeed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over there where the river boats are. Kinda see them off in the distance. Some mallard ducks down there. All right, so we're underneath the Clark Memorial Bridge here. See no parking down here. There's the Joe's Crab Shack that we were by earlier. I wouldn't want to spend too much time underneath this bridge. Jeez. I think the other side of the river there is Ohio. Or Indiana, actually. I think Louisville's on the border with uh, Indiana. So we're coming up to the boats there. Now, in Louisville, obviously it's famous for the Louisville Slugger Bat Company, the baseball company, but also Churchill Downs, the horse uh, derby, the Kentucky Derby, which is here. Actually, on May 5th, which is in about a week, two weeks, week and a half from now, I think they're actually doing some activities right now. But let's pick up over here a little bit more. You know, they build these American cities for cars, totally. And it takes away from the uh, authentic side of the town. But Louisville is actually named after King Louis of France. That's where it gets its name. So, visitors at Louisville Wharf, James Monroe, Andrew Jackson, Washington Irvin, Abraham Lincoln, Rolf, Ralph Waldo Emerson, Herman Melville, so in the 1800s, Louisville was a boom town, buddy. Here's the bell of Louisville right here. Wonder if you can go inside, inside there. Kind of reminds me of uh, Savannah, Georgia. I just came in today from uh, Cincinnati. Took about an hour and 30 minutes. Uh, hour and 45 minutes actually because we had a little bit of traffic I'd say it takes about an hour and 45 from Cincinnati I mean give or take I know someone's gonna be in the comments and say oh man, hell, I, man I, can, I can do it in an hour and 20 <laughs> all right so here we are at the Galt house this is legendary Louisville it's a hotel I was actually thinking about getting a room here earlier I don't think it's a part of the chain hotels like Marriott or Hilton, though. So I didn't get any rewards if I stayed there. Let's go check it out. Oh, it's hot in here. Very modern. Okay, they got that area you can walk over. Man, what a big hotel, huh? You can tell it's gotten done a renovation here. 
let's just go up here real quick and see what it looks like up top. We got a grand ballroom here. Okay, just a regular hotel. What is down one? Bourbon bar. Is it like down below or what? Anyways, big old hotel, two sides. You got that side and this side. Big old hotel. All right, so we are at the Spring 22. We got some nice food. How's it going? Thank you. Okay, so for lunch, I decided to go with something healthy from Spring 22. This is a citrus wonton salad. And I got a fresh homemade lemonade. Cool. Okay, my review so far is the chicken is absolutely delicious. Like, it's Yeah, so Louisville has potential for sure. There's the old spaghetti factory. I wish there was... Uh, a little bit more people on the streets because it's deserving of more people on the streets. Uh, you know, Cincinnati, Louisville, people in Cincinnati, they were telling me, oh, don't go to Louisville. Here I am in Louisville and I'm like, what a nice, really nice place. So I don't know why people are not uh, big fans of this town, but it's cool. You could tell they're trying to make an effort to bring back the life down here and I'm going to encourage it and I'm also going to say Louisville's an up-and-coming place I've seen what happened in some of the other towns like Chattanooga or Nashville Louisville's next on the list even Cincinnati and one of the things that I've been noticing is the cost of living in these areas is what's going to really drive the uh the growth so as other places in the south, like Texas and stuff, start to become more expensive, people are gonna leave New York and all those expensive places and move to these cities like this. And what these cities should be encouraging is attracting uh, technology talent, people who work in tech. If I was a governor or a mayor of a city like this, I would be welcoming uh, some of the brightest people in the country and even in, in, in the world to uh, do business here. And that'll easily spur this economy. All right, so we're coming up on 4th Street here. We'll just kind of keep cruising. Looks like this is the spot to be at night. I would say Louisville at night, especially on the weekend or during like Kentucky Derby probably really shows up. Smash sizzle, downtown Louisville. So there's like, how do you say it? Is it Louisville, is it Louisville, is it Louisville? You know. <laughs> All right, so we are Headed to the Louisville Slugger Museum now. This is Jefferson County, one of three original counties formed when Kentucky, Virginia was divided. I'd imagine that's Thomas Jefferson. And this is the Louisville Metro Hall that we're in front of. I was gonna say, is it the, Louisville, is it the uh, Capitol Building? I think Lexington is actually the capital, though. So before I came over here, people were saying that Louisville was dangerous, so you gotta be careful. And uh, I found it to be safe. Uh, it's a cosmopolitan city. People still stand by the statement that at night it's not as safe in the downtown area, so I can say in the daytime, relatively safe uh, it's a city of 1 million people they do have higher than normal crime rates for sure uh, violent crime rates I should say but I, I would say in spite of all that 
it's still a safe place in my experience. Okay. Louisville Slugger statue is not made out of uh, wood. Oh, sorry. There we go. We got a batting cage in here. Tickets. It's $18 per person. Well, if you were anything like me as a kid, you had a Louisville Slugger under your bed or in your baseball bag. Let's go in here and see what's up. Closes at five. So here, when you come into the Louisville Slugger Museum, you got Babe Ruth, Ken Griffey Jr. and you have their bats right here. This is uh, actually Babe Ruth's bat. It was made of hickory. And then you have, uh, this one was Johnny Bench. This one is actually Ken Griffey Jr. So, you get Willie Mays, Hank Aaron, all those guys, that's their bats right there. Uh, this is Roberto Clemente. I think this is Jackie Robinson. Life size. Joe, Joe Jackson. some of the bats right here. You're at one! Man, that ball's coming in fast, huh? You're at two! Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to show you what they show us in the tour because no video recording. But they're going to take us on a factory tour. You're just going to have to come here and see it for yourself. Texas had a baby. Ooh. Yeah. All right. We are at Churchill Downs. The Derby. Kentucky Derby Museum right here. We're going to go in here and see what's up. It closes at 5. We're on a tour of the track. Walking out to the track. I know it's really tempting, but please do not step on the track itself, okay? <laughs> okay. I'm old enough that when I was coming out here as a kid, they actually would let you walk on the dirt track. It felt really weird, really spongy. If you ever walked on tundra, it felt a lot like that. This is what we call our dirt track. That's kind of a misnomer. It's actually 75% sand, 23% silt from the Ohio River, and 2% clay, which serves as a binding agent. This is the original track. This is what Aristides ran on, what Secretariat ran on, and what Wow, that was cool. I actually uh, was happy I came here and did this tour. I do recommend it. I would actually come here for a race. Pretty cool. Nope, oh, gotta watch out. I'd like to see some horses. This is basically the dressing room for the derby horses. is in favor of it, but it's really iconic. Um, the builder of the Twin Spires, by the way, either didn't trust his architectural skills or his builder skills. Uh, he wouldn't sit there. This is a no-fly zone on Derby Day. 
Their name is actually Matt Wynn and John Asher. And this is actually the main area where everyone wants to hang out right before the race. With John Asher and Colonel Matt Wynn. So this is the place where they do all the staging. That's where the horses will be, kind of walking around here. And then they'll go out to the track for the main race. And they're off. All right, here we are on East Market Street. This is also known as Nulu, New Louisville. So this is like a hipster part of the town. We got coffee, cookies and coffee right there. So when you come out to Louisville, be sure to inquire about a distillery bourbon tour where they allow you to try five different bourbon. I would love to do that, but there weren't any going when I tried. But you can do all that down by the Louisville Slugger Museum. And another cool thing about that is you could use the exact same ingredients for the bourbon and just by the way that you prep them, the bourbon will taste the same even though it's the exact same chemistry variations of temperature and aging all play a factor in how that bourbon actually tastes. So that was pretty cool to know. Market Street right there and Clay. All right. I also need to show you guys the Muhammad Ali Museum back when he was Cassius Clay. He came from Louisville. And there's also the Fraser Science Center. So there's a lot to do out here in Louisville. So don't think for a second this is gonna be one of your boring cities. I mean, it's, if you take the time to actually do it, it's a, it's a 48 hour city. Between the Bourbon Tours, Louisville Slugger Museum, Churchill Down Tour, uh, Muhammad Ali, Museum, which we're gonna go check out. I'm gonna show you that. 48 hours in Louisville, totally. All right, so from First Street in Maine, this whole area right here is Whiskey Row. We got Distill, a refined hotel, and then you got all that. Old Forester Distilling. Maybe we should try and get some bourbon while we're here. Duluth Trading, Men's Gear. Yeah, this whole area. Barrel Bar, what do they got here? Wow, the KFC Yum Center where the uh, Louisville Cardinal play. That's a big college stadium. Coon Hollow Distillery Offices. Lots of history in Louisville. Population of 1.2 million people in the metro area. The city itself has 659,000 people. It's the 29th largest city in the United States. But here we are at the Muhammad Ali Center. See the museum. Art. I can't be stopped. I don't answer to the feet. Hear them chant Ali Ali. Sounds like the roar of thunder in the streets. Here's another good look at the museum here. Uh, it opens at 12 tomorrow. Uh, it's already closed. It's 5:40 right now. So it's right there on the waterfront. Nice. All right, guys. Here's my final review of Louisville. I love it. I recommend it. Come visit Louisville, one of my favorite cities, uh, as far as a hidden gem. There's some bourbon, that's called a rye ball. Yeah, I'm gonna get some bourbon when you come here.
This is my second one. That's how good it is. Oh, Wagyu. And potatoes. Creme brulee. Alright guys, we are on Galt House. 4th Street actually. We're gonna walk 4th Street. Back to my hotel. This is the Bourbon District. Starting here, going west. Louisville's location on the Ohio River and emergence of the railroad elevated the city as the national commerce hub, helping make it the capital of Kentucky's bourbon empire. That whiskey. You can pause it if you want to read it. Let's keep going. All right. This is the 4th Street and Liberty. Scoping out this fourth street. All right guys, here's my final review of Louisville. One of America's hidden secrets. It's a gem of a city. It's amazing, I love it. A lot of people like Charlotte. I can see why they like Charlotte, but people don't talk about Louisville like they talk about Charlotte. I think Louisville's better than Charlotte. Maybe the weather's better in Charlotte, but I really like Louisville, so five star city in the United States. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.